Alzheimer's and dementia is often used interchangeably, but what's the difference? This video will help explain this briefly. People often use the term dementia when they're explaining someone who either has chronic memory loss, personality changes, and or impaired reasoning. Usually one or more of these things has the ability to interfere with daily functioning. To determine if an individual has dementia, the provider is going to be looking at two to three cognitive areas of decline, including disorientation, disorganization, language impairment, and memory loss. Now, you have these two terms that I, met, that I mentioned previously, the Alzheimer's and dementia, and let's explain the difference. Dementia is kind of an umbrella term, and Alzheimer's falls underneath that umbrella. There's many other different types of diagnoses that fall under dementia. Under the umbrella includes other diagnoses like Lewy body dementia, vascular dementia, frontotemporal dementia, Huntington disease, AIDS-related dementia, and many other conditions. Alzheimer's is considered one of the most common causes of dementia. Dementia is basically a clinical syndrome in which the memory is negatively affected. It's not a specific disease. It's an overall term that describes a group of symptoms associated with decline in memory or other thinking skills severe enough to reduce a person's ability to perform everyday activities. Now this is an exact quote from the Alzheimer's Association about dementia and the definition of what exactly it is. Here you see a list of basically different categories of different diagnoses or causes for dementia, and we'll go over these. Now, you see this list here, this is called progressive types of dementia. Taking a look at this, the progressive basically just means that it's ongoing, it usually gets worse, and many times it's not reversible. Then we move on to another type, which is disorders linked to dementia, or in other words, disorders that often these individuals develop dementia, like traumatic brain injury, Huntington's disease, and you see the others as well. Let's move on to the next list of dementia-like conditions. These are usually reversible causes um, for dementia. If you are a nurse, you've likely seen one or two of these, or maybe all of them. So just to quickly recap, dementia is basically a clinical syndrome of memory impairment and other signs and symptoms, and you see these different diagnoses fall underneath it. And so even though Alzheimer's and dementia are used interchangeably, they do mean somewhat different things, and it's more that this is kind of the overall explaining of when someone has those kind of memory issues, and then the conditions underneath their cause from different things, whether it's um, dysfunctions with the cells, or the connections in the brain, or from what location it's in, or um, what it's caused from. So this is super important to remember, and I hope this helps clarify. Oh, and let's not forget the question that was asked earlier. Let's see if you got it right. What's the second most common cause of dementia? Here it is, guys. Vascular dementia. This usually happens after someone has a stroke. Well, there it is, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, this lets us know to make more. And then also, of course, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. And stay tuned for more videos from MedMadeEasy.